Hey, what's up everybody? This is gonna be a quick look at this ingenious wireless outdoor multifunction AP. All right, so here's a quick unboxing video. I sped it up because I know it's, uh, to me it's pretty boring watching an unboxing, but I forgot to show you what's in the package. Here's your device. It's about 10 inches tall by about six inches wide. Here's your external antenna. Well, it's a, in a spot so you can throw this extra antenna on it, which adds like five dB. Uh, on the back you have your LAN, wireless LAN and power lights. Also the link quality, which is kind of nice. So you can sit out there on the fly and turn it to, to get your best quality. All right, there's the antenna. Obviously. And what else we got in this box here? Uh, we got the power brick that plugs into this, which, is, which will, is also known as your power over ethernet. So you plug this in, plug that thing on the wall plug in a cat5 or network cable from this device over to the antenna and that provides your power as well has a grounding strap um, cover of some sort um, also it did come with a cat5 e cable i just took it out here's your disc and some mounting brackets um, i haven't taken these out or... all right so here's a web interface um, this is our main screen right now just kind of gives you a dashboard an overview of the settings and, and whatnot uh, wireless client list. We see this option right now because of the mode I have this in. The, the mode I have this APN is a repeater and I'll go over that here shortly. Um, uh, connection status, you can see the connection, current noise level and all that good stuff. Um, system log, there's nothing in the log because it is disabled down here. Under system, system properties, you just tell it what, what, uh, what mode you want to run it in. Now, I use this, I tested this thing out in two different modes. I used a, I used it as a client bridge and a repeater, and they both worked wonderfully here, um, at least the short amount of time that I've tested it with. And um, again, I'll go over why I chose repeater and probably why I would choose repeater if I were to actually purchase one of these and use it out in my uh, pole barn or shed or garage or however you want to call it. And um, so what else we got here? Uh, IP settings, you can give it a static IP or you can let it obtain one if you have a DHCP server running somewhere. And I apologize for the noise coming up, but that is my dog walking on this floor, all noisy. So anyways, I went ahead and just configured a static IP. And um, so what else we got? Uh, spanning tree settings, you can enable or disable spanning tree. It, it is off by default. Wireless network. Um, Let's see, let's go over here. All right, so this is the, since I have it in repeater mode, I ran a site survey and it found my blue Linksys WRT54GS running DDWRT um, as an AP. It found it and it went ahead and connected to it. Uh, I did have to put in the WPA2 code to be able to get it to connect and whatnot, but um, it connected right up, works no problem. Um, and there's our settings for that. You can see my password is password. It's very secure. Uh, wireless Mac filter. I don't have any Mac, Mac filtering going on. Um, you, could, you do have advanced settings. And if you know, if I were to put this outside and actually buy one, use one, I would probably turn up the transmit power, pipe blast it. Um, again, uh, this isn't mine, so I'm just testing it out. Management, of course, is just basic settings. Username and password, SMP settings, auto reboot, which is kind of nice. Have it auto reboot every so often. Um, backup restore, firmware upgrade, time settings, log and diagnostics. All right, so here's a Linksys WRT54GS that's running in AP mode, so it's just acting as an access point. Now it's at the front of the house. What I'm going to do, that's why I got the front door here and freeze. And where I put the ingenious access point is on the windshield of the truck that's back there in that shed so i'm pretending that i'm going to install the unit back there in the shed now i got a little bit of time here so i want to talk a little bit about the bridge mode and the repeater mode i did try it out in bridge mode first where as you can um all i had to do was set the ingenious unit in bridge mode and then plug in a network cable um, from the other end of that power over ethernet adapter and plug that into like another router or a laptop or something and um, it would be on the network but right now it's just in repeater mode so it's just basically repeating the signal that's coming off of that WRT54GS so the SSID is going to be the same um, from a, a laptop perspective you're not going to see anything different now this is the signal strength and everything that you see here currently 
and you can see it looks like I got a good signal. I do have a good signal to this access point that's sitting on the front windshield here. You can see the connected status, got full bars because it is just a couple feet from the unit. Um, and you can see I am online because I am in the chat here saying yo 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 to the members here. Just show you a little bit, there's that power over ethernet switch. Now I have another network cable plugged into it at the moment, but that's, just ignore that one. But uh, there's the unit pointing right to the house. Now remember that WRT is in the front right corner of that house, so there's some walls to go through and whatnot, and it's still picking it up just fine. Mm -hmm.